Our next guest is the queen of Saturday night television, but behind the glitz and glamour, Tess Daly is just like us, a working mum, caring for the family, spinning lots of plates and looking after everybody else. That is why she's making it her mission to ensure that everyone finds a little me time, herself included. Here to tell us more, it's Tess Daly. <laughs> We have we are. They've been done. Yeah. So. But listen, are. we've got a bone to pick with you. What are you oh. doing getting three ladies of our age to skip? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, old Nadia got pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I talk about skipping in my book, and it is joyful once you get into it. You think, oh, I feel like a kid again. This is what I did as a child. And it makes you feel great. Get the endorphins going. Yeah, but your pelvic floor must be in better nick than ours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clenching it as we say. It is. No, I, get, I get obsessed with these people on Instagram that do these incredible, like... Well, I can't do any of that, sadly. Oh, do you just do that? <laughs> but it's a good way to Thanks get your it. heart pumping. It's yeah. brilliant, because I time, like, a minute on my phone, for example, when I do it, and I sort of do a minute on, mm. then have a minute... The, yeah. the alarm goes off, you can rest collapse for a minute and then do another minute on so if you do you know if you start like that you do three minutes one yeah. minute on one minute off it, yeah three minutes build it up slowly i mean i'm only on to about five minutes now but that's yeah good. I know. <laughs> Ruth but it's is really into it actually she she oh, yeah yeah she is yeah. Yeah. and boxers yeah. a lot of boxers right up, use it so you know it's do good. it to stay yeah. fit yeah, yeah. Get and you don't have to have an going. expensive gym membership you can get a skipping Just rope a for a couple of quid online and also i kind of keep mine in vision on the sideboard, so it's like winking at me, saying, you better pick me up today. Yeah, so then you see it and you do it, you know. Yes. And also keep Vernon a bit nervous. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just have the at the side. <laughs> well, me I mean, it's all part of the book here, uh, which is four steps to a happier, healthier you. And, I mean, I think that's a real kind of theme through it. There's nothing sort of extreme, extreme in it. You're not doing burpees in the gym at five o'clock mm, in the morning, are you? That. No, I'm not. I mean, I, it's not a preachy book. It's more about a manual of kind of advice, really, because it's about small steps mm. that you can make in your daily life, five minutes a day, that you might take for yourself, whether it's skipping, whether it's putting an online yoga class on your iPad and just stretching for five minutes mm. before you go to bed. Mm. I do that to relax at night. It's brilliant. Right. Um, having a brisk walk with the dog. It's just it's about moving more, eating gut friendly. Yeah. Oh, she's big on her gut. Oh, I love my yeah. gut. Oh, she loves it's so gut. important, isn't it, yeah. to get that it's gut It's the root bacteria. of all evil. Isn't it? Yeah. You know, it affects our, mo our mood, our immune system. Yeah. And if you look after your gut, a side effect is that your weight will stabilise. So I think, as, I don't know, I feel like you'd agree with this, that as I've got older, I don't exercise for the way I look. I don't I exercise for the way I feel. Exactly. So doing something like first thing in the morning, just a bit of something for a couple of minutes, straight away, you just feel so much better. It's and the same with the changer, food. It's isn't it? Yeah. It sort of shifts your mood so that you feel more positive, more ready to seize the day. You've yeah. done something for yourself. Yeah, I mean... That old day of ca I was thinking, oh, I've had 800 calories here, which means I've got to run for four and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> days in the 80s and 90s. It was awful. The big old advocate of that, of course, was... Dear Brucey, who was yes. a regular oh, on the show, yeah. and he used to skip on, and every yeah. single morning he did exercise, didn't he? Spinning. He famously did those exercises. Yeah. And stretching. And... Stretching exercises. Yeah. He'd spend sort of a few minutes each morning and each night, and they kept him flexible, yeah. they kept him fit. His posture, you know, I was working with him when he was in his mid 80s. Oh, wow. Really? He was he in your video? Yeah. yeah. We worked together for 10 years, yeah. and he was 70 yeah. when we started. And his posture was of someone, in, you know, a third of his age. Yeah. And that was due to the exercises he did. Mm. And they weren't, you know, sweat-inducing exercises. They were more for flexibility, really. And I talk about that because I think staying flexible yeah, is important. important. I think mm. what's great about yeah. the book as well is, like you're saying, is finding that five minutes of me time because yeah. being a mum, being working, you, you can get lost in that. How do you balance it all? I'm just, like every other woman I know, mm. trying to spin the plates, yeah. you know. And, as women, I think, by nature, we are nurturers, we are caregivers, and we look after everybody else in our lives yeah. and all those responsibilities that bombard all of us mm. on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. And I think, you know, we're all pretty... I know I'm guilty of putting myself sort of last on that list yeah. of priorities, mm -hmm. on the to-do yeah. list, you know, I'm last. And so I feel really passionately about the fact that we do look after, nurture our own well-being and look mm. after ourselves a little bit, even if it is a few minutes a day, which is what I wanted to achieve with this book. I wanted yeah. it to be inclusive. Yeah. I've been trying relatable. to do that thing where you just stare out of the window for three minutes without making a list. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And it's so hard to just, just settle your mind. Yeah, just to, like, take a few minutes. Do you minutes. ring fence a bit of time in the day? And if we... Well, I do in the morning, because I set yeah. my alarm, like, 20 minutes before everyone else, so mm. I can get up, 
have a cup of strong tea, sit there quietly with myself, don't look at my phone in that time, because mm, otherwise you're bombarded with information mm. and that's mm. it, you're off, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. So just kind of sit there mindfully, cup of tea, and then, you know, sort of, uh, I do a few breathing exercises as well, a couple of minutes, easy peasy, focuses your mind on your breath and it just stops the noise. Mm. The chaos. Yeah. The chaos. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's one thing you talk about which yeah. I think connects with the book, the noise of what you were saying when you worked in fashion mm -hmm. and actually there was so much projection about being perfect and actually just owning who you are yeah. and, and dealing with the, you know, the inside out. I think that also is portrayed in the book, you know? Yeah, because mm. I worked in the fashion industry before I got into television for yeah. 12 years um, and it was, you know, working out, it was wonderful. I travelled the world and it was a fantastic well, There you experience. go, there's a young test, look. Oh, that's a mm, lovely picture. Not it? Yeah. We sent you that, my mum. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and, you know, yeah, there was a lot of projection there. Obviously, it's about what you look like. Yeah. It's not about the content of your character. And you want it to be about who you are as a person, but ultimately, it's, you are judged on your appearance. And, mm. you know, I would, I, there'd be situations when I was told, oh, you need to lose weight. And then a month later, I'd be told by the same person, maybe you should put a bit of weight on. I'm thinking, well, I'm wearing the same jeans. I'm the mm. same size I always was. I've done nothing different. So I realised quite early on that... Those projections may not be accurate, it's just someone else's opinion. Yeah. So I just learned to take that with a pinch of salt because, you know, one arm northern and that's what we do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And keep from the inside. Yeah, yeah exactly. Out. And do you manage to pass that on to your own girls because, you know, mm -hmm. they're sort of teenage age and we've all discussed yeah. it. They're yeah. under such girl. scrutiny. Yeah. Of girls. You're yeah. getting ready for a half empty nest, aren't you? Don't. I can't believe you've got an 18 year old. I'm the same, I'm wow. in denial. <laughs> She's not ever leaving. How does Vernon feel about that? Because my partner was almost kind of worse than me. And of course, Vernon has sat in my seat. And, yes, he'll miss And him. loved it, I think. Yeah, he, he loves it. He loves being a loose man. Does it make we really more... open up and talk about our feelings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something you hope that he will open up about on Loose Women that he wouldn't oh, at home? Oh, I don't know. Like a topic. Send it in yeah, to his us next toys, time. His toys in the garage. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about them, then. <laughs> yeah. Vernon Key, a model aeroplane. Yeah, he's, no. he's a real geek. <laughs> Yeah, I've yeah, got a hoarder husband. It's so hard, I mean, isn't it? Because you know it's sweet. You know it's a passion. It's yeah. like it's kind of annoying. Trying to tolerate it. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to look trying to find a husband to hold. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing. We are out of time. So can much. you say bye bye in Japanese? <laughs> uh, Japanese. I can say. But what can I say? Uh, I can say. Asukara sama deshita. Oh, don maragato. Hey, Which means pleasure. Thank you for doing lovely to see you today. And sayonara. Wow. And goodbye. Wow.